Okay, my bold and the beautiful fans. Yes, it is time for a chat. And I know, maybe you know, and I know a lot of other folks are talking on whether or not all roads are leading to steam, meaning Steffi and Liam, by sabotaging sin, Steffi and Finn. And we're going to talk about it. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful. This is our little conversation chat about the bold and the beautiful and what we're projecting. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and talk about this. Okay, so I know a lot of folks have been talking about this, especially after the progression of everything that's been going on since the beginning of June. Now, I know a lot of us did not expect this, but after looking at the week of July 17th, everybody, including myself, is speculating something that looks very interesting, but at the same time, very frustrating if the writers are going to take this route on whether or not they're trying to throw sin under the bus to reunite steam. So how did we start? Well, it looked like it started way back a month ago, probably early June when we saw for the last several weeks, Hope having all these fantasies about Thomas. And of course, if you're gonna reunite steam, we gotta move Hope out of the way. And the cleanest way to do it, of course, is what we saw this week with a divorce. Now we remember the kisses in Rome. Liam had a front row seat to that kiss. He kissed Steffi in Rome, came back to LA, kissed Steffi in LA. We also saw the whole scenario where Hope got her mojo on with Thomas, which of course prompted her to get the divorce, especially since Liam asked for it and sent him crying out the door. Which now brings us to this other part of this extended storyline, which is Finn. So we have to figure out a way look like the writers are trying to do, which is to get Finn out of the way. If they truly want to reunite steam how would you do that so we know Steffi and Liam are carrying two huge secrets especially coming off the who's the baby daddy storyline back about two three years ago and we know that would be an automatic deal breaker for Finn so how do we get Finn out of the way create a secret and an automatic deal breaker for Steffi which of course is none other than Sheila Carter and you know she had that shocking miraculous leave from prison as of the uh, July 21st episode if you haven't checked that out go check it out it was absolutely insane and it was definitely driving Ridge and Bill crazy with all of the work they did for the FBI but the only way to implode two couples was to move hope out of the way and then to move Finn out of the way. And with Liam being able to have a front row seat to that as well, just like the kiss in Rome, he got a front row seat to this other big blockbuster with Finn hugging and having some sort of a connection with Sheila Carter. So this is actual leverage for him. I mean, they could actually keep his and Steffi's secret quiet because I would think the whole thing with Sheila is probably a lot more larger and it could be on the same level but for of course Steffi and the rest of the Foresters and the Spencers that would be a whole problem for Finn to try to reconnect with Sheila Carter and with the upcoming spoilers Liam is on a crazy mission and you know I'll do my full spoiler video over the weekend but just to focus on the Liam part of it his name is in front of a lot of different things that's coming up so we know that he showed up to this trial and of course Finn wasn't happy Finn put Liam on notice that Steffi is off limits. Liam claims that he respects Steffi's marriage. Liam tells Finn that he's make sure that Steffi is okay and not any danger when it comes to Sheila. However, when he saw that uh, Sheila and Finn were having a close moment, he was shocked, which now he goes on this whole rampage about you know realizing that Finn is not so perfect after all and Liam thinks Finn is potentially a danger to Kelly and Liam is aware that Finn and Sheila has some sort of a relationship going on and putting his daughter at danger and Liam feels that he needs to intervene to make sure Kelly remains safe so he's going to be plotting I know that's part of the 
um, whole thing with what he's supposed to be doing over the next week or so. But it looks like he's going to build up enough leverage to hold, sabotage that whole marriage because Liam will definitely have ammunition to lob a grenade in that marriage, especially if he brings to the attention of Steffi that her husband is building a relationship with a nemesis to the whole Forrester family for the past probably 20 years, which of course, there's no way Steffi is going to actually stick around with that, which means that she could take the kids and go off because we know Jacqueline is pregnant. So she's probably going to go on her maternity leave very soon. Could that lead her taking the kids away, leaving Finn by himself, leaving an opportunity for Liam if they're trying to reunite the whole steam coupling. And that means that they would have to throw sin, Steffi and Finn, under the bus and pretty much blow this whole thing up. And the biggest spoiler, which is for Friday, July 28th, I was about to say June, July 28th, is the fact that there is going to be a disaster on the beach. And there's a, a spoiler photo with Tanner Novlin, who plays Finn, along with the little girl that plays Kelly. So what could that mean? I hope nothing happens to Finn. I hope nothing happens to baby Kelly. But something disastrous is going to happen next Friday, July 28th. So, hey, it's just a speculation. We'll have to see how each episode goes. But if they're trying to do a swap a roo and try to switch everybody up, this is going to be crazy. Also on the rumor mill is the fact that if they do keep Finn around, they're actually, I'm hearing through the grapevine that they're actually trying to maybe revisit the whole Paris and Finn situation. And I'm like, please don't go there. But it's a possibility because look like they're moving some chess pieces around on the chessboard with all of these couples. So we got to stay tuned. I kind of want to run this by you guys. Drop your thoughts down in the comment section. And, you know, let's get the conversation started. So until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.